Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share something really awesome and something really simple with you. And that is a way to organize your components that have a lot of different properties, a lot of different variants. And it, sometimes it gets really hard to actually organize these things. Um, the plugin that I'm going to be talking about and referring to today is the Variant Organizer plugin. This is the plugin if you want to access it. It's by Jules Perry. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, but whoever made this plugin, thank you. Um, and I need to go ahead and love it as well. So what this plugin is going to do is it's actually going to organize uh, how your variants appear. So I currently have my variant, my plugin, or sorry, my button organized, and it has a bunch of properties and variants as you can see on the right. And it looks like everything is done pretty much okay, right? But it's not, and that's the way of organizing it, not really in a well-mannered structure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove all of these labels that I have because the plugin is actually now gonna do that for us. And I'm gonna go ahead and man, like just by myself, just create an auto layout on top of the component group. That doesn't change the component, don't worry about it. I only did it so that um, everything can be disorganized and everything can be like whatever. And then you can go ahead and organize it with the variant organizer that I was just referring to. So in order to go ahead and organize something, you have to go and select organize from the variant organizer. You can also do that by going into the plugins, going to the variant organizer, and then you have some of the options here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say variant organizer and then organize. Now, once I do that, it's gonna ask me, hey, what, what should the column property be for the primary grid? So what should be the uh, how should the columns columns be separated out? I'm going to say the columns should be separated out in states. So I want the states at the top, like the default, hover, active, disabled at the top. And then it's going to ask me, what do you want on the left? I'm going to say, I want the type on the left. And then it's additionally going to ask me, hey, do you want anything else? Or should I just, again, do it? I'm also going to say, I want the sizes at the top as well, like at the even higher level. Like that should be a horizontal group. And once I do that, as you can see, everything is now organized accordingly. And now I can also see some of the mistakes or some, not necessarily some of the mistakes, some of the variants that I've intentionally left out. Now, as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and I am going to grab all of this. So grab all of this. And then we have our labels as well here. And let's just go ahead and actually move all of these because everything's really organized in this plugin. Let's just go ahead and move them. And as you can see, we have the icon on the left. So the, these are none icon. So these states don't have an icon. This state has a left icon. This state has a right icon. And then we have the small and the states here, default, hover, active, disable, the medium, and the large. So everything is organized in that manner. Let me just go ahead and resize this a bit as well. And as you can see, it was really that simple. I didn't have to do any organization here. I really could care less about it. And I can now just go ahead and do all of that stuff. Let me just go ahead and rename this frame to the buttons. And as you can see, this is how you go ahead and organize things. You don't have to worry about doing all of this stuff manually ever again. Let's just go ahead and do that for some of our other items as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna resize this so we can see it. Let's just go ahead and resize this as well. And ideally I should have just done scale here, but let's just go ahead and first of all, move it to the middle. Again, probably use the same method. Like obviously we can't use it because this component would have slightly different properties, but I'm gonna say again, I want uh, maybe the, I actually want the type on the left. That is something that I want consistent, but I maybe want the sizes, the active state at the top, the type on the left, and as you, as I did before, the sizes at the top level horizontal group. So once I do that, as you can see, this is done now. We have the labels and let's just go ahead and move them. So we have the labels, whether the labels are on or whether the labels are off and then whether it's like, like a checkbox or radio and then we have the sizes at the top, the small, medium and the large. So all of that is now being done by the, compo by the plugin. I don't have to worry about it and neither should you. Let's just go ahead and do it one more time for our text field because I didn't add any labels here. So let's just go ahead and resize it and just place it in the middle. Let's just go ahead and run the same thing. 
obviously not the same thing i have to again go ahead and choose what i want at the left and the top so i'm going to say since we don't have types here i'm going to say we want the state at the top so that's fine we want the icon whether there's an icon or not on the left and we obviously want the size at the top so i want to be consistent like that right but because of that obviously this component is like scaling really really wide so i can actually decide not to do so but i don't mind if it's wide i just want to keep the flow a bit consistent so we have the states at the top then we have the sizes at the top and that is just a pattern that i'm following so i'm just going to keep it at that if i don't want to keep it at that if you want to go ahead and customize it so i'm just going to press command z and i can go again organize and then say i want the states at the left instead of the right so i'm going to say the sizes can be at the top similar to what they were previously the state can be on the left and then the whether the icons can be on the left or not like we can just leave it at that so as you can see we have uh, both of the icons the left icon the right icon and none and then we have the states on the left and then we have the sizes on the top so it can be done in whatever way that you want but just wanted to point out how powerful this plugin was and you can go ahead and do some of the other things if you have created yourself so that's going to be pretty much it for this video do subscribe do hit the bell icon if there are any questions or queries on this plugin or anything else in general with this design system that we're working on definitely let me know and i'll see you in the next video take care bye